Who have we got here then? Down on our luck, are we? Well, come on in and we'll look after you. The new displays at Gresinor Farm and Workhouse uncover the reality of life prior to the welfare state. We dispel the myths that have arisen over time and reveal what life was really like for Britain's poorest families inside and outside the workhouse. In 1864, widower Christopher High lived cheek by jowl with his seven children crammed into a two-room hovel until desperation forced him to put six children into the workhouse. Let's get you out of those rags. Oh, bless me. When was the last time you had a bath? A good scrub down, that's what you need. We'll shave your head, get rid of those lice, and put you in a nice clean workhouse uniform. Now, be warned. Inmates follow a strict timetable. You'll soon get used to it, and don't ever change. Day in, day out. Get up, eat, work, go to bed, all at the same time. Break the rules and you'll be punished. Families were separated on arrival. The men, women and their children only seen each other in chapel on Sundays. People slept in dormitories with little privacy, but each slept in their own bed. Arguably better than in their overcrowded homes, with no privacy and children sleeping on the floor. I suppose you're hungry, are you? Go and talk to cook. Workhouse food is boring, I should know. I cook it gruel and bread and cheese every day, meat and potatoes once a week and soup the day after. Inmates can expect three meals every day. For most of them, that's more than what they get at home. This here is called a workhouse, because people here, they have to work. We women cook, clean, scrub linen here in the laundry. The men do their heavy manual work, like oaken picking and stone breaking. And if you get sick, you're better off in the workhouse because they got an infirmary. And them that the good Lord calls, they get a Christian burial in a proper coffin. The workhouse was a place of last resort and most people feared the stigma of being here. But some were far better off in the workhouse. Children with no family were clothed, fed and most importantly went to school. For some, that education would transform their lives from rags to riches. So, leaving us then are you? Been an experience no doubt? Going back into the big wide world knowing a little bit more than when you came in. Well, just remember, we're always here, and you are always welcome. To find out more, visit www.museums.norfolk.gov.uk.